hello everyone in this uh, video we are going to learn about the writing program in java for first non repeating character provided into the string so in this one we are going to use the concept of uh, array list and some basic uh, string methods to achieve our goal so uh, first of all i will let you know that uh, these are for case uh, sensitive so for if you wanted it to convert into the case insensitive you can uh, add either user uh, to lower case whatever the string provided that to lower case or you can convert it into the upper case so now starting first we are going to discuss about the logic that we are going to use and then we will write the actual code so consider that my input is going to be java is super okay so what i will do is i will start my pointer with j that is uh, my index value will be zero so i will check it out i will substring it from j to the remaining all so now my substring will be the string which is highlighted that is a v a space is space super so what i will do i will check this with the current pointing character if my substring contains if my substring contains the pointing character that means it is repeated and if it does not contain the pointing character i will simply return it that is the basic if let's suppose if it is like this now in this case if you see if i substring this then j is my pointing character this j is going to be my pointing character and the remaining is going to be my remaining is going to be my substring in this case as it contains if it is containing we will add to the array list for checking it with the next things so let's start with the program so for that first we are going to create one array list of character so let's name it as a characters itself is equal to new array list of characters now as i told you that we have to traverse through the entire string which is provided so we are going to use the for loop we are going to start with uh, index 0 we are going to do this until our string reaches to the end of its length so now the important condition if else okay so now let's start with the main code what we are going to do is first i am going to substring the provided user string so let's say user string dot substring okay user string dot substring the beginning index will be i plus 1 as i told you if i am considering java is super then i am going to substring it from j onwards so it has to be current pointing character plus 1 so my current pointing character will be i and the next will be i plus 1 so now if this substring contains if my this substring contains the current pointing character that is nothing but character present at i value as it as this method takes the string value so we are going to concatenate it with the empty characters so now this is my first one now if this becomes true that means my character is repeated so in that case i don't have to return that character okay so now so now let's suppose if i am talking about if i am talking about double j so for the first j it will say me that my substring contains the j so it won't repeat it but what about the second j if i go for the second j the substring will be this and in this j is not present so it will return me j and that will give you the wrong output so for that purpose only we are using the 
characters as an array list so what we are going to do is we are going to check it with characters dot contains user string dot character at i so if these two conditions are false then if these both the conditions are false that means your character is non repeating so we are going to return user string dot character at i and if any one of this is true that means that the character is either appeared earlier or it is appeared it is going to appear later so what we are going to do we are going to add it to the characters array list that we have created so characters dot add user string dot character at i that set from the programming if if my entire string is traversed and i have not found any repeating character for example considering the example of s d f e or simply say h d f c in this one if you see all characters are non repeating so first character that i am going to get is h and uh, let's take an, another example let's say mama in this all characters are repeated so what will happen in this case first we are going to consider with m so my substring will be emma in that case my substring contains m so for the first value it is this condition this condition will become true so true or true true and then characters as of now my characters doesn't contain anything so it will become false so this will be my true value and this will be my false value so true or false will become true and its negation will make it as a false and then because of that my characters array list will be added with m now my i value will be incremented by 1 so now i value is incremented by 1 so now current character that is going to be a and substring is going to be ma now if you see again my substring contains a so this will become true this will become false and because of that it is again added to my characters array list and i value will be incremented again so now it is going to be m now in this case if you see user string my substring is a now my substring does not contain m but my characters do contain m that means it is not appearing ahead but it is appeared earlier so i am not going to return it so in this case in this case this will become that is uh, that is nothing but characters contains condition will become true and uh, as this is false true or false will become false sorry true or false will become true and negation of that will become false so my characters is again added with m and same thing will happen with a now for the i value is equal to 4 this condition will become false because 4 is not less than 4 so we will come out of the loop and we will return empty string so what we are going to do we are going to check we are going to whatever the character we have written we are going to store it into the character variable let's say ch and we are going to check with that if it is in a white space that means all characters are repeated so we are simply going to print all characters are repeated if it is any other value than the white space so we are going to say that first non repeating character is whatever the character that we have received so let's check with an examples so let's say java is simply saying super if we execute this so it is but obviously you're going to return you j so let's see uh, yeah it is returning you j so for making some changes i will add j at the end of 
the provided string now if you see it is returning me v as you can see v is the first non repeating character let's consider with all repeating characters let's say mama or ma'am in that all characters are repeated so now if you see it is giving me that uh, first non repeating character is a that is because this string is closed okay so because of this bracket it is happening so we don't have to close this bracket over here we have to close it over here so that this issue is going to be solved now if you see it will give me all characters are repeated what was happening earlier the negation is not for both the conditions it is only allied with the single but the negation has to be for both the conditions so that is why we are getting the previous error the error which i have talked with you earlier while giving an example of java is super i have placed the double j so for the second j it was uh, not provided so in that our case it was providing repeated as for uh, the first a but for the second a it was saying that the above substring does not contain any a so it was returning me a as a non repeating character okay so now checking once again with java is super so if you check j is the output i am adding j at the end so it is giving me v so now what i am going to do i am going to type uh, anything don't know what i have typed just you can pause the video and you can see whether the w is the first non repeating character or not how we are going to check see whether h is repeating is there any h yeah you can see h is present over here now go for s s is present here go for d is you can see d is also there go for b b is also there i is also there s is uh, also there as you can see here it is s if you go for the b b is there as you can see here b is there if you go for the w then if you further scan the entire string you will not find any w so we don't have to bother about the next characters as we got our first non repeating character for the given string so this is how we are going to execute it thanks for watching the video if you liked it please share and subscribe to the channel thank you everyone